Hello and welcome to Lions TV's post-match vlog. Um, struggling with the laptop, I'm gonna have to get it fixed in a week. I've borrowed one off someone else, but it's like a fucking Apple pre-Christ. So I'm not sure whether I'll be able to get anything out on it tonight. Um, got a couple of good interviews earlier. But um, let's talk about the match. First and foremost, we did dig it out. We did win 2-1 against Sheffield United. I think you'll find I called that again. Um, shame I'm not a betting man any longer. But um, it wasn't pretty at times, but we got the job done. Um, team selection, Harris uh, let a few shots off, didn't he? We didn't really change much. Um, all he changed was um, Worrell came back in the side, which pushed O'Brien over to the left and dropped Shane Fergie out. And Jimmy Abdu was dropped in replace of fit again, Sean Williams. Um, we started out all right. Sean Williams, great strike, 20 yardage of the box, left foot, um, put us 1-0 up, um, the win played a factor, obviously we're quite direct with our play, and it, you know, it wasn't pretty at times, we didn't really look in a great deal of trouble, even though it wasn't at our best, but um, a shot from just outside the box, after about half an hour, um, I've blamed Jordan Archer, I hold my hands up, it looked from where I was sitting like it's gone straight through his legs, if I'm wrong, then I'll hold my hands up, but I'm hearing it could, Craig couldn't have been at fault. I was surprised um, with Aris' team selection, and um, going into half time, I, I started to think it wasn't going to be our day. I thought it could be a draw, but we came out the second half. Um, we battled well. We could have been free. We could have scored three more right at the start of the half, but um, Gregory missed one um, amongst a couple of others. Um, the thing I want to talk about is Wild. Now we've taken O'Brien off, who's playing out of position in left midfield to put Fergie on. So I'm wondering, why have we signed Wilde if he's a left midfielder and he's third choice behind Shane Ferguson and Aidan O'Brien, who doesn't even play left midfield? It's really, really puzzling me, that one. I'd love to find out what's going on there. But, um, you know, the game died a death, really, for about 25 minutes in the second half. And um, we had a good push last 10. Um, came back to life with an 89th minute penalty. I don't know what their defender was doing. Um, he's throwing his hand up and Stevie Morrison has converted the penalty. Um, shocking defending. Um, it is a win. I think Aris must have given him a good bollock in at half time because they come out and um, they've had another go. 2 1, three points. Um, it's not looking too bad now, is it? Tuesday's a forgotten memory. Um, at least hope so, anyway. And if you look at that results, the Pikers have been smashed 5 0 at Scumfall and um, Peter have lost 2 1 Oxford. So I think it's a bit of much of a muchness in this league, pretty much similar to the Championship that. Any team on their day can beat any team. And hopefully now this will be the start of us pushing on. Uh, Greg has limped off towards the end um, with Fred Odomodigandagadagu coming on in place of him. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping um, that that's not a serious thing. It didn't look like it more than a precaution than anything. And we go again on Tuesday, uh, brushing on Tuesday, Knott's Forest. I couldn't care less if we get knocked out, to be honest, or whatever it is. I don't know if it's group stages, but... We need to focus on the league. We need to focus on getting back in the championship. And I'm not really fussed about Forest, although I will be there. And I will also be at Chesterfield next Saturday. Um, hope you're all going. Get a decent crowd up there. Give Ched Evans some serious stick. And um, that's my Domino's Pizza's just arrived. So come on, you Lions. Please subscribe to Lions TV. And I will see you all Tuesday down at Den. Come on, you Lions.